Hi guys, it's Ellis Google from Canine Psychological Consulting. I hope you're having a great Labor Day weekend. Um, I'm taking a break here from doing uh, mud and tape on my house um, because we're dealing with a behavior with Bill where he's a puppy and puppies do what feels good, right? Now, we have a seven month old baby and Bill identifies that as a peer group and that triggers his instincts to do puppy play, right? Well, puppy play is biting and mouthing. Okay, so then he wants to go and he wants to mouth on the baby. Well, any volume of mouthing um, upsets the baby, right? Makes him afraid. So, um, it's this behavior right here that he's wanting to do, all right? So, he goes, he gets near the baby, the baby starts to cry. Now, there's starting to be this kind of emotional context, which again, Bill doesn't have much causal understanding yet. So, the emotional context creates anxiety and stress. Now, at the same time, when we're blocking Bill and we're stopping him and correcting him for mouthing on the baby, we're also kind of triggering his oppositional reflex, okay? The more we try and make him stop, the more he feels like, come on, and the more it actually becomes a frustration behavior. So if we're not careful, we can really quickly wind up fighting with Bill over whether or not to bite our child, which is a really terrible situation to be in. Um, because, you know, we, we don't want to fight over whether or not to bite the family members. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do free shaping. Now, free shaping is a process of using um, marking and reinforcement to capture and reinforce the dog's already good ideas that they have. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys really quick here. So here's our players in the cast. We've got young Rem. Hey, bud. And... Uh, we got Bill over here. Now, and this is Riley. Riley wants to be part of the team. So, Bill, no. That's the boy. So, I'm going to chew on the chair really quick. Okay. Bill, are you ready? Yes. Good boy. Good boy. So, here I am with Rem. Now what I want to do is I want to put Rem inside of my body space, right, so I can protect him, yes. And I want to make sure he feels safe and happy. Again, I want to remove that negative emotional context. Yes, good boy, Bill. So Bill feels positive. Bill. Yeah. Good job. Hey, uh, Riley. Will you give me a hand and bring me a couple of puppy toys and a couple of baby toys? Good. Yes. Good. Thank you. Okay. So here's the, I think I want to bite the baby. Yes. Good. So I'm going to mark him for not biting the baby and being in the baby space. Now here's a couple of baby toys. Yes. So the beauty of using free shaping in this context is instead of trying to enforce a behavior which has its own sets of challenges and difficulties, sweetie, could you want to rotate the camera so it faces like right here? Okay. So the beauty of free shaping in this context, Billy, you ready? Come here. Is that instead of enforcing any behavior of my own choosing on the dog, what I'm doing is I'm, a, I'm just capturing Bill's good ideas that he's got, okay? So instead of me having to make him do a sit and then try and apply the kind of the, the broader idea, which is yes, we don't bite the baby, he's gonna decide to do a sit on his own, yes, or a down, or walk away, or play with hand, or really whatever he wants. And all I'm gonna do is tell him what behaviors I'm a fan of, yes. Okay, so I can even free shape him away from mouthing on Panda's head. Yes. Okay, now the beauty of this is Bill's being constantly positively reinforced. Um, yes, this creates a lot of joy, a lot of pleasure. So now I'm creating a really positive association around REM while still having a lot of, yes, behavioral leverage, right? Bill thinks this is all his idea. He's going to be really eager to replicate.
Okay, yes, things to keep things with this idea. Panda, here. Yes. Good. You can do it. Down. Good. Stay. Nope. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. So now I can set out a baby toy. Yes. And now I can mark him for leaving it. Leave it. Nope. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Now I can leave my puppy toy. Yes. Good. And I can mark him for engaging his puppy toy. Yes. Good. So there's a really brief, yes, simple example of ways that you can use free shaping to alleviate stress and anxiety. Um, yes, and avoid having an argument in the first place. The whole point of, of free shaping is preemptive um, reinforcement. Yes, in other words, reinforce a behavior before the biting of the child ever happens and do it, yes, in a context that the dog thinks is really cool and really positive, so that I'm gonna have a really high willingness to perform this behavior. <coughs> Panda. Down. Down. You can do it. Yes, do it. Okay, so we're thinking about mouthing the baby. We're thinking about mouthing the toys. But this is good. We're sniffing, we're learning, we're practicing good behavior. Go, nope, leave it. Yes, good. Decided he wanted to try and get the baby's baby. Off. Yes, I shouldn't be giving him any commands, but I should be allowing him to make behavioral thinking. My bad. Yes, good. All right, so from all of us over here at Canine Psychological Consulting, Thanks for watching. Happy Labor Day weekend. And uh, don't fight the puppy over whether or not to bite the baby. Thanks for watching Life with Bill. Take care. <laughs>